Hi everybody, my name is Matt Bauer for My Computer Works, and welcome to this video in our How My Computer Works series. A question I get asked fairly often is, how many photos can I send in one email message? Or what's the best way to send photos in an email? Well, the smaller the photos, the more you can send. Today's digital cameras take pictures in an unbelievably high resolution. So how do you get them all the way down to an emailable size? Here are a few ways. If you use a local email program like Outlook Express, Windows Mail, or Microsoft Outlook, Windows has a feature that will offer to automatically resize your pictures when you try to send them via email. These resized pictures are copies, so the original photos remain unaltered. Here's how to do it. Instead of opening a new email message and inserting pictures as attachments, first select the pictures you want to send by holding down the control key while clicking each one. Or you can select all of them with the keyboard shortcut control A. Then just right click any one of them, go to send to mail recipient. A box will pop up with the options for resizing the photos. It defaults to the medium setting, which is still a fairly decent picture size, but keeps the file size fairly low, which is a good thing. You also have other options to make the actual size smaller along with the file size. You can see the estimated file size just below the drop down box. Now keep in mind that most email providers have a limit on attachment size in a single email. For example, if you use Cox email, the size limit is currently 20 megabytes. If you use Gmail, the current size limit is 25 megabytes. Another thing to remember is that the person you're sending the email to may have a lower size limit than you do. So if your email exceeds their size limit, they may not receive it. If you don't know the recipient's size limit, it's usually best to keep your total email size to 10 megabytes or less. When you've decided on the best combination of picture size and file size, just click Attach. Your photos will be automatically resized and a new email message will open with the photos attached. Just fill in the recipient name and a message if you'd like. Then send the email. If you use web-based email such as Gmail or Yahoo Mail, you can use a free application to resize the photos. One such application is Picasa by Google. I introduced Picasa in one of my earlier videos and you can check it out by clicking the link in the more info section just below this video. In that video, I detailed how to install Picasa and I illustrated some of the features. When you have your pictures in Picasa, you can select them the same way you would select them in a normal window. Now if you use Gmail, all you have to do at this point is click the email button. Then select Google Mail and log in if you haven't yet. Type the recipient's name or email address and send it. If you're using something other than Gmail, click the export button. Here you'll see some options for resizing your photos. You can specify where you want to save the resized photos and name the folder you want to contain those photos. A decent reduced size is already set for you, but you can adjust the slider bar as needed. You can leave the rest of the options as they are and just click export.
The folder you just created appears with the reduced size pictures inside. You can just attach these pictures instead of the originals and send the email. If you have any training suggestions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. So go ahead and send me an email at training at mycomputerworks.com. You can also subscribe to our YouTube video channel by clicking the subscribe button above any of our YouTube videos. You can also check us out on Facebook or Twitter by clicking the links in the more info section below this video. If you have any questions about My Computer Works or would like to know more information about our services, go ahead and give us a call at the number you see below or just visit us online at mycomputerworks.com. My name is Matt Bauer. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.